Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and tonight, <laughs> tonight, decided that I would pop on and film a whip and chat. This is going to be a really short one. Um, it might not even be like half an hour. I, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm going to talk to you until I can't talk anymore and so let's get started. If you're new here, by the way, uh, my name is Rachel Ray. I'm an American and I live in rural Ireland and this is my channel about crafting and I try to check in every once in a while with a whip and chat and whip standing, not for, but for work in progress. <clears throat> and so that might be in our case today, excuse me, diamond painting or cross stitch or um, any number of the crafts that I get up to. Excuse me. And the reason that I'm here today, and I sound so terrible, is because I got the Rona. Again. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah, I'm COVID positive and it stinks. So let me pick a color. I need bag number 24. Um, this is kit is from a company called Row Diamonds that was based in the UK. I don't know if they're still open. I remember hearing that they were having a closing down sale, but um, that was months ago. I don't know if they've reopened or... I Honestly, I don't have the brain power, so I apologize, but they were a UK shop called Row, R-O-W-E. I purchased this from them, and they had this. It's like... Oh, the lighting is terrible. Hold on, let me change this up. Alright, that's way better. Sorry about that. Uh, well, it's way better for now anyway. Um, this kit came with Aurora Borealis diamonds as well as the normal diamonds. <clears throat> and unfortunately, the drills on it are popping a lot. And I've had issues with it you know, ever since I started it, um, the drills over here are popping off the canvas. And so if, if you could tell, um, I can tell, I don't know, um, how many of you are seasoned, um, or veteran, I guess at this stage, diamond painters. I started diamond painting in, um, spring of 2018 and, <clears throat> I'm so sorry for clearing my throat so many times. Um, not, I should not be talking. Um, but back then, uh, there wasn't a lot of legally licensed shops available to buy from. And, uh, a lot of us here, especially in, in my case, um, bought from AliExpress. This, this canvas right here, uh, it's, manufactured in the same factory that uh, a store called Huacan is. And so back in late 2018, early 2019, a lot of us discovered that the manufacturers of these cheaper kits um, were using a low quality diamond drill on their for their kits because it's cheaper but unfortunately they don't sit well together they pop up and they have these little knobbly bits on the side that keeps them from sitting flat <clears throat> and it's a pain it's a pain in the butt so that's what's happening to this kit right here and I'm doing my best um, to make it work and then I'm going to seal this painting. I'm going to use the stick that I got from Amazon which if I can remember I'll link it but if you go into my playlists on YouTube <clears throat> I have a playlist with diamond painting accessories and how to diamond paint in both of those I believe or at least in the how to diamond paint playlist I have a video about the stick that I have purchased 
and used and demonstrated in a video if you want to check out um, that video. I've been getting a lot of repeated questions, which I don't mind, but I just, honestly, I don't have, um, there's just so many t hours in a day and I can't answer all the questions. If you have a question about diamond painting, um, my favorite video that I've made so far is actually my FAQ video. Um, I wish I could redo that video, but <laughs> anyway, um, go in there, have a look. If you have questions about diamond painting, check in the FAQ video. If it's not in the playlist, you know, just leave me a comment. I'll do my best. If I haven't answered the question, then it's fair. <clears throat> I do apologize again for my voice. Uh, but so I got sick a few days ago. I only noticed that I was sick on Mon on Tuesday. Excuse me. I noticed on Tuesday that I was sick and um, I wasn't feeling like myself. Uh, I had a Twitch stream. I, I stream over on Twitch. It's Rachel Raycraft on twitch.tv. Um, but I, I usually go there on Thursdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, but <clears throat> obviously I didn't go online today because every time I talk, I have a th frog in my throat. I'm going to just pause for a sec. I really don't want to, uh, to make you listen to my voice like this for too long, but I wanted to explain where I'm at and what's going on. Um, everybody's fine. Uh, I'm isolated. I am in my craft room. I have my video games. I have uh, my diamond paintings. I finished my mystery diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. Yeah, woohoo, I gotta finish. I finished it uh, yesterday and super excited about that. Um, I can't wait to make a video about the reveal, but obviously I'm not going to make a video about that because <laughs> like this video, this is just an update video, but, uh, a video that's going to stay on the channel long term. I don't want to, I don't want to have my voice all like, <clears throat> like this. Right. But anyway, I noticed that I was feeling sick and then we got a call that my brother-in-law tested positive and because we had been hanging out with him for the weekend, uh, I immediately took a test and I immediately came up positive because, <sighs> yeah, just, I guess I just knew deep down because I was already sick and showing symptoms, but I hadn't really like, you know connected the dots there. Um, I guess there's a part of me that just kind of was hoping that I wouldn't get sick with COVID again, but this time it's not as bad as the last time. I just keep going through different stages of like the flu <laughs> for lack of a better way of explaining it. I know it's not the flu, but, uh, last time it was horrendous last time. Oh my goodness. Um, let me pick another symbol. I'm going to pick J, which is number 11 in the baggies. I'll put the baggies back later. <sighs> it's hard to breathe. <clears throat> it's hard to take a deep breath. And, um, I can't find my inhaler. <laughs> But it's fine. It's going to pass soon anyway, so I'm fine. I just try to breathe slowly and try not to panic. I highly recommend that for you as well if you are the kind of person that suffers from panic attacks. Um, because it, it does feel like somebody is pressing on your throat or, you know, choking you or suffocating you. So if you haven't had COVID, here's what to look out for. No, I'm kidding. Um, hopefully you don't get COVID. I don't wish it on anybody. It sucks. Um, <clears throat> sorry. 
it's an involuntary reflex. I do apologize. So, uh, my head is fuzzy. Uh, it's hard to really find motivation to do anything. Uh, I've been sleeping a lot and drinking a lot of water, you know, taking care of myself. But I think that the worst thing uh, with the COVID <clears throat> for me personally is when I get so congested that I have to breathe through my mouth and then it feels even worse like someone suffocating me. It's, it's not nice. Um, and second worst is probably the weird um, shallow cough. I don't like it. I don't like any part of it, but I really don't like the shallow cough. It's annoying. It sounds... <laughs> I hate I hate to use this term because it's not, but um, it sounds really like weak and almost as if I'm not really sick. It's like a, <coughs> you know, a <coughs> like a little, a little cough which is not happening right now because I'm talking and now my throat wants to like <clears throat> close up. But anyway, um, just really quickly wanted to check in with you guys because I know that I haven't really been making a lot of videos lately. I was, I was getting there. I had all my videos planned and, and ready to film, but hadn't filmed them when I found out that I was positive. So when I was positive, uh, I immediately filmed a video for Friday. Uh, I found out, I took the test, found out, cleared off my desk and immediately made Friday's video. It's a sneak peek and a first look at a new release from last week from Diamond Art Club. As you know, I'm an affiliate for them and I take my affiliate relationship really seriously. So I wanted to make sure that I made that video. <clears throat> Sickness be damned. Uh, and I hope that it's watchable. <laughs> but um, they were really kind. I told them what had happened and they said that I didn't have to make the video, but I really wanted to because I know that a lot of you are interested to see what these canvases look like. And y'all, this week's canvas is, the one they sent me is amazing. So thanks again, DAC, for sending me sneak peeks to share with everyone because I know that they don't have to um, and I I am honored to to be able to do that oh that being said excuse me um, I had planned on doing a diamond painting D stash on my website which is rachelraycraft.com I was planning on doing the D stash next week uh, now I'm not so sure. We will see how quickly I recuperate because I'm uh, cut off from the main areas of the house and everything and I can't go to the post office and all that. Um, there's really no point uh, in me <laughs> overworking myself. I remember last time Last time that I got COVID was uh, just after New Year's. I'm going to pause for a second. I got a cough. So I remember it clearly. It was New Year's, uh, just after New Year's. And it was a lot worse that time. Um, I had to get steroids for my lungs and the inhaler, which I wish I had. I wish I could find it. I feel like I can see the inhaler in my mind's eye, but I cannot place place it. Like, where did I put it? And I've looked everywhere. I really have looked up and down and I cannot find it. Um, so can't pick up these diamonds either, apparently. Um, but the last time I got this burst of energy, um, probably day four. So I'm guessing that tomorrow I'm probably going to feel a lot better and I'm going to want to do stuff. But, uh, it's a lie. <laughs> it's
it's a lie. Be warned. Um, this time I know it's a lie. You get this burst of energy and then you crash really, really hard. And I am not doing that to myself this time. This time I really am taking it easy. I am literally crafting. Like I've been diamond painting. I finished the mystery kit. I completely de-kitted the mystery kit. You can see right here. I've de-kitted all the drills. They just need to be put away. I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, I completely kitted up my new Drills and Chills canvas, which I put out a little sneak peek of the drill colors yesterday and asked people to guess. And there was only one person who guessed correctly. <laughs> uh, and that was Heika. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be diamond painting a piece called, and I'll put a picture in here. It's called The Ghost Maker. And the artist was formerly known as Tanya Shatseva, but now she's going by a different name. And I'm trying to remember exactly. Let me. I'll just quickly um, look at my history to get it because I was looking up the, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I was looking it up. Here we go. The Ghost Maker. So her name now is Ava Gamma Yoon. Ava Gamma Yoon on diamondshop.com. Uh, I'm really, really excited to do that one for Drills and Chills, but before I start that, obviously, I'm, I'm gonna wait for the start date just like everybody else. Um, it is a round drill, 60 by 80 centimeters, so it's huge. Um, and it's the old diamond shop canvas, so it's gonna be challenging. <laughs> but I've had it in my stash for over two years now, and I have wanted to do this for drills and chills for years. So ever since I first got it, and I'm really, really happy to announce that I'm going to be doing that. I will be joining in on the fun. If you have not heard of Drills and Chills, it's an event uh, every year that um, the Diamond Painting community hosts. And originally, this was done by the owner and creator of distract of distracted by diamonds diamond painting uh patty wax robin robin with a y distracted by diamonds on youtube i don't think that she's made a video in a really long time but we all know her and we all love her and what she's given us here in this community um and one thing she gave us was drills and chills and I am not participating for any prizes. I am only participating because I really like having events to do. And this one in particular is really near and dear to my heart. Um, so anyway, uh, the, the person that's hosting this year is Diamonds and Washi, which is my friend Katie. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, please do. I'll make sure that I link her channel. But Katie's a really, really lovely person, and Katie is going to be hosting it and doing all the prizes and everything else. So if you want more information about Drills and Chills and what that's all about, I'm going to leave it to her to explain it to you because I don't have the voice to do it today. <laughs> all I can say that is that it's really fun. You get to watch her videos, you get to enter in for prizes, and you get to diamond paint along with literally hundreds of other people if not thousands of people at this stage I'm not sure um but good luck Katie if you need any help you know where I am um 
and and I will do my best. <laughs> but yes, I am excited. I have the canvas all literally all kitted up. I've got the drills. I've got the canvas um, sectioned off with release paper and I'm ready to go. Uh, I wanted to finish, like I actually wanted to start early just because I'm not entering in for prizes, but then I was in my closet and I saw this little fella, my little, my little owl. And I thought, you know what? No, I should probably work on this a little bit again. Uh, it's very confetti heavy. And I know that I just worked on a very confetti heavy painting, spoiler alert, but, um, I want to get some work in on this. I, I think I can actually finish it in a few days if I dedicate myself like I've been dedicating, excuse me, my time uh, for the last few weeks, actually, that I've, I've been like almost purely diamond painting. And um, I really got through that one, the mystery, and now I'm really ready and pumped for Drills and Chills. Not only am I going to be doing drills and chills, but it's going to coincide with something that I'm participating in and kind of hosting myself. So I'm part of the cross-stitching community here on YouTube as well. I'm sure that that comes as no surprise to those of you who have been watching for a while. We are going to be doing a marathon, a 100 hour challenge for charity. We're raising money for the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women, Girls, and Two Spirits in North America. And they are based in the United States, if you are curious. Um, I will have more information in my next floss tube video, which will outline that. But I am going to be dedicating 100 hours of my crafty time to raise money for the cause. So I'm looking for pledges from friends, from you all, whoever is willing to donate. That would be amazing. If you want to get in on the fun and you want to raise money yourself, you are more than welcome to do that. <coughs> Excuse me, and I will get you the information for that very soon, but I will probably be using my diamond painting time this year because for the last two years I have been using cross stitch and my cross stitch bug is still there, but it has waned a little bit and I still want to participate, but I have a lot of auctions, I have raffles, I have all these things to help raise the money and my goal is to raise a thousand dollars, US dollars, between September 1st and October 31st. So what do you think? Do you think I can do it? <laughs> I hope, I hope we can. I have a D stash for <clears throat> for Child's Play that I was just talking about, where we're raising money for children in hospital. But I'll also be doing, probably be doing a D-stash for uh, this as well, closer to the end of October, just to get to push through that last little bit. Excuse me while I cough. So that's what's going on in my life right now. And oh. Why is it every time I pick up the bag or the container, I always see one more symbol. Anyhow, I'm going to let you go for here, here for now. I'm really sorry. I can't stay longer, but just know that me and my family are safe. Um, I, I miss Cosmo, my friend's dog. He was a very good boy. He was so good. Um, and I am staying away from my husband to keep him safe and free from sickness. Um, I'm diamond painting my heart out uh, while I'm here in my room. <laughs> and anyway, I hope that you all are doing well and that you're staying safe out there and taking care of yourself. 
Thank you so much. Ooh, for hold it. Thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting me. I really appreciate you all. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Definitely on Friday. <laughs>